Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we're going to be going over defense on Yacht today. Uh, make sure to check out the attack guide as well. It should be in the description and video, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, okay, let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to start off in like the dorms, uh, dorms uh, kitchen site. Um, I think Mir is an essential operator here. Probably either a bandit or a mute. Um, smoke's never bad. Jaeger's never bad. Uh, you know, big operators aren't bad either. Echo, Doc, Rook, any of those are all probably fine. Um, as usual, though, we'll just take a uh, smoke, go to cafeteria, and dorms. Uh, most people pick engine first generally, but I personally don't think it's the best site if you're have a coordinated team and stuff like that. So we'll just go over like a, a really basic setup. So we'll go over reinforcements first. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. And probably do a double mirror setup over here. Leave both of the mirrors closed in case they have a twitch drone and until you actually see someone that you're ready to shoot at. This way you can pick left or right side to shoot. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the hatch in casino is 10. There's your 10 reinforcements. Uh, definitely wanna at least put a piece of barbed wire here. A uh, piece of barbed wire over here. And then just kind of fill in wherever from that there on. So, you know, maybe pieces in each doorway if you have extra, a bunch in this kitchen hall, you know, going down the west hall over here. As much as you can here up to the door um, try to cover all that now if you have bandit and mute, you can bandit the four walls here and you can mute all these back walls or do any combination of the two it's up to you really um wouldn't be a bad idea to do so in my opinion and uh you can get rid of all of these like little mini sub things too by just shooting them and like wiggling around and getting them all off I would also recommend expanding your mirrors too. So if you have a mirror, you can shotgun out the sides and tops and bottoms of them and do that as far as you can over toward the north side of the wall. That way you can kind of see down the stairs a little bit in case someone's coming up. Having this wall reinforced will make sure that you don't get sprayed through the wall. I can't count how many times there's somebody that's playing a mirror here and I just walk up and spray the wall and get a headshot. So something you'll definitely want to consider doing in my opinion at least. Um, pop this hatch with a shotgun. This way, someone's coming from underneath. Good to go. Maybe put like a smoke in here. Um, you know, mirror here. Maybe, like a mute over here. There's some good long angles you can get. Break some of these icicles. Get some holes up here. Get some nice like long angles to the back of the hall over there. And then maybe have like a roamer. For the for the most part, this site's pretty easy to defend actually. Uh, you know, one, two people roaming, three, you know, three, four people on site. You shouldn't have too much of a problem. It's pretty defendable. Uh, play these close angles, maybe with a shotgun as well over here could work. Um, you have a lot of options, pretty much. You can also make, like, bigger holes here uh, and make, like, a melee hole down here that you can just kind of look through. Do that sometimes, too. Um, just a couple, like, little things that you can do, I guess. But uh, that should about about cover it for uh, the, for this site and we will move on to uh, the engine room okay now we are gonna head, uh, head down into the engine room um, good operator to take care uh, band and mute are never bad once again you need at least one of them probably both like both would really wouldn't wouldn't be that bad but at least I'd probably just take bandit at a minimum um, once again smoke and Jaeger never bad options um, Rook Dock, Mira, a lot of these operators will work. Really, you just need a bandit here, I think is the most essential, at least in my opinion. So, uh, server room and engine room, let's uh, head down. Okay, so uh, for reinforcements, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's the two on the back of the boat. Seven, eight. And if you want to, you could do this hatch. I normally don't, but you can. Uh, that would be nine. And you could do one here, or you can just do two here instead. Generally, I just do these two. So this way you can't get shot from the long haul behind. And then maybe put a mirror here if you have a mirror. Something like that could work. Stop back haul pushes. Um, throwing up a piece of uh, barb, at least a piece or two on the stairs. A piece or two over here. 
few pieces in the back hall. Barbar is pretty important here. That's what I'm saying. Jaeger and Bandit. That'll give you at least, you know, Bayer, Jaeger, Bandit, Smoke. That'll give you seven pieces of wire. So you can maybe put like three back here, uh, two on the stairs, maybe like one here, and maybe like one over here in this doorway. Um, you know, Bandit these walls. Uh, just kind of hold. Valkyrie is not really bad here. You can throw some cams up uh, in the engine room. Never hurts. Uh, Echo drone works as well. Um, you know, just play up. There's a bunch of nice angles in here you can kind of get uh, by playing up in sight. Um, you know, running all the way back in the engine and stuff. I'll show you guys a few like peaks. I guess that are pretty nice. The site is pretty defendable. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's one of the few maps where. Um, it doesn't require like really 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 aggressive heavy roaming it can help but it's not essential um, but maybe running one two roamers um, obviously there's some good angles over here you can set up a control if they're not contesting you from control room I mean hey tons of free angles you can just shoot down and get free kills uh, it's always a good idea to just crack this window. This way they're a little bit afraid to come on this side. Then they'll generally always go for the one door over here, kind of narrowing down your, their options a little bit. Uh, heading up top, top of the boat. Um, you'll see me if you watch my stream on Twitch at all. I use the spawn peak all the time. Um, but you can like see like a little pixel there. Obviously it works better than ACOG. I, I do it with like Rook or Doc generally. Um, so a couple good angles there. Uh, if you want to, you can put more uh, more equipment down over here. Uh, you can make it even, you can play it more aggressively. Like you could put a piece of wire like all the way out here and throw a camera outside, or you can just listen off the wire. Like put a piece of wire out each door. Piece of wire here as well, one on each side and just play like super aggressively. Like you hear a piece of wire rustle, just come out and free fire. And your, your goal is, I guess, kind of holding this top area, I suppose. And you could even open the hatch above for quick rotate down. So you can run and get back in the site if you need to, if they're attacking you from a lot of different angles. Um, you could also uh, mirror, like, so say you mirror the back hall over there, then you can mirror the side of this over here. So this way, if they're pushing the hall, you can you know, just get a free kill, pump them with a shotgun, or just shoot them. I mean, you have a mirror, so you should be able to kill them pretty simply. Um, but yeah, that should pretty much about cover engine as well, and uh, I think we will head to a uh, control room and then up top. Okay, now we're gonna go uh, go to the control room first. Uh, kind of what I was talking about near the end of that last uh, last I guess go over the engine. You can do that as well over here. So uh, Jaeger bandits, uh, really. I guess Mira here would be really nice probably to have, and uh, Smoke Castle's not the worst either. You can castle off the side doors. Uh, Docker Rook. Wire's pretty important though. So we'll go Kitchen Engine. I mean, really, either of these two are interchangeable. They're, they're both not that bad. Like I said, this whole map is pretty defendable, um, especially in ranked. You know, maybe on a more competitive level, the bottom those two sites that I went over would be the more competitive sites uh, to use, but... Um, you're gonna want to open up like pretty much this whole wall, so I don't know. You get the idea. I'll, I'll open it so I can get in there at least. Okay. So whatever, for whatever reason, these walls are made out of Kevlar. It's fun. Um, but we'll go over reinforcements. So one here. This is a single panel. This single panel right here, and then there's a double in the freezer. So that's four of your reinforcements right there. You can put some over here, like wherever you want, really. Like maybe one here and put a mirror on it so you can peek off of it. Um, possibly put a mirror right here, although it can be shot pretty easily from these stairs. So that's your call, kind of. Um, you can also put a mirror right here. Uh, leave the wall soft so this way you can peek fast if they're planning at the door or something. Crack this window. Both doors should be open, in my opinion. And then you can put those pieces of wire outside, like we were talking about on the last site. Feeling that might happen. So put up another piece of wire out here as well. And same goal, right? Like you hear the wire rustle, you run out and peek and kill them, essentially. 
Um, if you could put, especially for this site, since you have to hold this control area, like for the other one, you don't really have to hold control as much, so you can just put the one piece out. I would probably double wire here though, like split it up, put another piece closer, so if they grenade or ash that back piece, you still have another set, but like four pieces outside. You have a lot of extra reinforcements here if you want to use them. Um, generally, I'll reinforce like this and mirror this. This way, what, that, what does that put us at? Like six, uh, seven with the sidewall over here. And then uh, right over here, I'll put like a half wall too. And a half wall and like open half of it so this way I can hide behind it or I'll reinforce the whole thing. Just depends on, I guess, really what I'm like feeling like doing or where they've been kind of coming from if, we've, if I've lost the site. Um, so yeah, I'll reinforce this though, because on the other side of this, uh, there's a soft wall and if they're coming down those stairs, uh, they can shoot you through that wall. Um, occasionally I'll reinforce this wall as well, which I think single panel if I remember correctly, yeah, huge reinforcement. That puts us at like eight. So you get the idea. You can kind of move them around based on what you, what you feel like. Um, a lot of times though, I'll shotgun this out if I'm not reinforcing it. So this way they can't just plant easily over here. You could play down on the stairs right here and have a nice angle at the door. Probably shotgun this out a little better so you can see that. But fortunately, these walls are like amazing. They don't break. But there you go. You can kind of see a little better. Nice like pixel gap. Um, once again, you can like aim down on people from up here too. But I think with the wire outside and stuff, it's pretty defendable. If they're coming from the backside. Uh, obviously put a few pieces of wire back here and stuff too, but you'll have people in the kitchen. Um, if you battery these back walls, I mean, obviously they can EMP them, but, um, you know, shock on them when they're coming through the halls and the wire back here. Good spot to place smoke is definitely back here too, because you can move up if they're not taking from kitchen side. And you can just like make late shotgun holes and throw smokes. This is easy. Um, but yeah, just like a couple options for you guys. Oh yeah, I am completely forgot there's two hatches. So that would be our last two. We were at like about eight, so the two hatches. I completely blanked on those, I'm sorry. So yeah, those two hatches would be the last two that you would have. So we'll, we'll go over reinforcements one more time just to make sure we're not missing anything. So four in the back, six with hatches, maybe like one here that's seven. Um, eight over here so you could play in here, and then nine, ten should pretty much cover you or you can do half this wall like right here and then and being that back wall so up to you something like that yeah, that should about cover it uh going to go over maps and cockpit blast okay now we're going to do uh maps and cockpit um I think one of the most essential operators here this is this in my opinion is the hardest site to defend by the way on this map um, Valkyrie here I think is really important, um, Valkyrie and Mira probably, Smoke and like I say Smoke and Jaeger are just never really bad options, they're not, not bad to take, um, and then third op really doesn't matter, I mean Castle could be decent, um, something like that. So, maps and cockpit. Uh, your Smoke or your Mira, shocking out the hatches, there's two of them, one over here, one over here. Um, and I would pre-break the bottoms of pretty much all these windows to set yourself up for some jump outs. Uh, open up these walls. Have, try to make yourself some nice clear lines of sight. Reinforce both of these walls and mirror this wall. You could put a mirror on this wall. It's there's like some indestructible beams, but the mirror will still go up. So this is two reinforcements. Um, if you want to, you could reinforce half of this if you really want, but I never do really. Uh, the point on this side is to get, pretty much just jump out, get crazy. So pretty much once again, just kind of breaking the bottoms of all of these windows. This is one of the few sites too where like honestly frost is not bad. You can normally catch somebody off guard um, you can break the bottoms of these windows like this too. So even though these windows are like barely broken right now, you hit it the third time, the whole thing shatters. So that's like a, I don't know, if you're, if you're newer to the game, it's something you can kind of, uh, it's a little tip. So break, two hit pretty much everything. 
all of these will be ready to get hit once and popped open then, so pretty much. If you want, you could even just flat out open them completely and just throw cameras all over the side of the boat and stuff like that. You have those mirrors set up so that you can, uh, if they're coming from the west side of the boat, you can fight them pretty easily. Uh, tip if you're on offense, you could ash this mirror, but most people never do. Um, yeah, and then pretty much just open up all these doors, all these windows, or pre-break them twice, or hit them twice so they're ready to be jumped out on, and just put wire everywhere. Well, underneath any of the windows, if you have a frost, put frost traps. Um, biggest thing is that you have the two mirrors here and here, and that you have cameras all outside the rest of the boat, and I would recommend opening this wall as much as you can. I'll make like a walk hole in it. So there you go, walk hole. Uh, if you want to, you could put a mirror here as well, but I think it's better off to just play a bunch of people here and play like two people back on the mirrors, in my opinion. Oh, cameras on the side of the boat, mirrors up, reinforcements, easy. So definitely reinforce. Oh, I don't know if we want to reinforcements or not. So we'll, we'll, we'll just make sure. One, two. Uh, Three over here. You can make a rotate hole is over here as well if you want to. I normally do. Three, four, five, six. That's generally it. I don't I don't use the other ones, but if you want to reinforce more of this wall, like let's say like another idea you can do is you can reinforce this whole wall and double mirror it or something and just play everybody inside. I mean that's an option as well if you really want to, but this is kind of how I set it up, at least personally. But Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, just like and subscribe. It definitely does help me. But uh, if not, I hope you're just getting something out of it. And uh, check out the attack side video. It'll, it'll definitely help. Uh, it'll be in the description and everything like that. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.